friends, welcome back to my channel. So nice to see you guys again. Um, it's been really hectic. Haven't felt the best recently. I've been having battling some sinus issues and whatnot. And then yesterday I went hiking with a group of friends and we just had a good time. Now my calves and stuff are burning. My lungs were killing me and well, and here we are. Back to filming a video. So I'm going to film a simple video. They kind of don't really get me back into the groove of filming like I'm supposed to. You know, because I'm really bad at that. And sorry for the really bad lighting. Again, I filmed this, decided to film this at night. I should have filmed it during the day, but I was really tired from yesterday. My cats kind of hurt. And I was just, and then my boyfriend came over and we hung out for a little while before he went to practice. So, anyways, that's that. So, today we're going to talk about clothing items that I think every girl should have in their closet. There's about at least 10 different pieces here, including four pairs of shoes and then in the next part of this video I'm going to do accessories I think that are important and then I think I'm going to film a whole going through my closet video like just going through my clothes and just showing you guys all my clothes and stuff because I feel like that's that'll be really fun for me it also gives me time to get rid of more things I've started getting rid of a lot of things but I'm going to keep getting rid of more things so without further ado let's get started so the first thing we're going to talk about is pants I think there's three different pairs of pants over here so the first thing, I think every girl needs to have a cute pair of leggings. I have four, five different pairs of leggings that I wear all the time. These are actually my favorite. These are LuLaRoe leggings. Yeah, these are my LuLaRoe. I have two pairs of LuLaRoe leggings because, you know, I'm not that I'm kind of poor, so I don't have time for, yeah, anyways. So they're really cute. They're really comfortable. The thing I like about these is they're really soft and they're really stretchy. So, and they, and they look really good. Like, if you have a really weird body shape like I do, they look really good on you. Pretty much, and I like the really thick waistband that doesn't slip, it stays up really well. So, yeah, every girl needs a good pair of leggings. LuLaRoe will be your best friend when it comes to leggings. I also like Gymshark leggings, but I don't even have those anymore. So, I mean, so leggings that's important. The next, I think every girl needs a good pair of jeans. These are my favorite jeans. I actually have two other pairs of jeans that are my favorites, but we're going to show you these ones. These are my all-time favorites. You've seen me do wear these in a lookbook, in the first lookbook I did. I'm working on the second one. Not right now, but obviously because I'm filming this. But, yeah, these are my favorite pairs of jeans. They have cute little holes in them. I mean, they're not massive size holes. They're rather small. And then they're just really comfortable to wear. Why do they feel wet? I don't know. They feel kind of wet. That's cool though. They have to go out and wash them because I haven't washed them in like two weeks. And then again, I also haven't worn them. So I don't think they need to be washed. Um, I can just spray these with Febreze and they'll be fine. So these are great, comfortable leggings. They also have a lot of stretch. Well, not a ton of stretch. But they're also very nice form fitting at the same time with the stretch they do have. Um, obviously, I've had them for so long that the back, butt, the back loop has come off. So these are a size 16 petite and they're from Time and True. I think I got these from Walmart. So yeah, Walmart has really nice jeans and these have lasted for quite a while. <sighs> Obviously, I've had multiple pairs of jeans that I like. Um, a lot of my favorite jeans end up having holes in them. So nice pair of jeans. Um, make sure you check the size. These are skinny petites. I buy petite skinny jeans um, because I'm short. And yeah, those are size 16, I think. So they fit really well. They're kind of big, though. The next thing I think every girl should have, excuse that these are dirty. I actually wore these yesterday hiking, but every girl needs a good pair of jogger sweatpants. These are my favorites. I wear these a lot. They're really comfortable, really soft on the inside. I think I got these from Walmart as well um, out of the athletic section. They're, these are the athletic works. They are 71% rayon, 25% nylon and four percent spandex and they have a ton of stretch like even in the legs like so they're really comfortable and you won't have to worry um they also fit your body really well at least they fit mine really well and they're just another one of those things they feel like leggings sometimes but they also have pockets so they have pockets most of the pants i own have pockets except for my leggings they don't have pockets so those are my three staples for jean well pants in my wardrobe Next, I think every girl needs a cute white crop top. I know this is on a hanger. Um, it's not really a, well, f yeah, a crop top. It's not really a crop top on me because I'm short. But, yeah, this is from Route 21. I'm pretty sure I stole this from my sister. She'll never get it back. But it has a lot of, sh this has a lot of stress too. 
like a lot of hair so it fits really well it goes great with those jeans i showed you which i mean obviously if you've seen my lookbook you know that i think i posted that video on that one but yeah so a nice white crop top with they didn't have to have little designs on it but you know it's a great thing every girl also needs some kind of concert tee band tee this is my newsboys tee from the newsboys concert i helped work during the summer yeah it was during the summer yeah i worked it during the summer yeah i did i don't remember i think it was this year yeah, it was this year because i met one of the guys from the newsboys so i was really excited so anyways every girl needs a concert tee i have like three concert tees because i don't i love going to concerts i just never have time to go there's never really any good ones that i want to go to so and then this one is really cute all my concert tees are usually black i don't usually get any bold colors because i mean i don't own anything that needs a bold color so concert tees I do like this one. This one's my, this one also has a lot of stretch. Like it's a, I think this one's a medium. I think my boyfriend got me a medium. I can't remember what I asked him for. I think he got, I think he got me a medium. He either got me a medium or a large. I think this one's a medium. So we're gonna go with it. Maybe a large. Next, every girl needs a nice, comfortable long sleeve T-shirt. Slash, I don't know what kind of cotton shirt. I have a lot, most of my clothes are cotton, so if that means anything. Um, ex yeah, they're all cotton except for the Jeff, the like the, the joggers, those are not cotton. I think everything else is 100% cotton. No, my white crop top is has spandex too and rayon. So, this is this one is a my 100% long sleeve cotton t shirt. I got this from a Goodwill. Um, I mean, I'm not ashamed. Goodwill has really nice clothes. You can tend to find more items like this in Goodwill that are really comfortable. Um, you can find these on like Walmart and stuff. Like, these are really good. I mostly find these on like athletic shirts, like, for athletic events and whatnot. So, these are really comfortable. I have yet to find another one like this that I really, really like that was just as comfortable as this one. But this one's really cute. It says staff on the back. I'm not even sure what company it goes to, but it says NCPR. I'm not sure what that is, so. Anyways, if anybody knows, like, can you, like, tell me? So, that's another. I think every girl needs a nice, cute, long sleeve crop top. I mean, this one's my favorite. I got this one for my birthday. So, this is my NASA crop top. This one's my absolute favorite. I think every girl needs a long sleeve crop top. Because, I mean, you can still be cute while being somewhat warm. This is great for, like, those regular fall days. Where, like, it's not super cold and it's not super hot. And you can wear some high-waisted. I like to wear my LuLaRoe leggings with this one. Or my fit gold leggings and just look really cute with that. So, yes. Most of these are top wise because that's what I own. Um, next, I think every girl needs a flannel. Um, this is, I got out of the men's section. Again, I think I got this one in Walmart. Yeah, I got this one in Walmart because me and my boyfriend have the exact same flannels. Yeah, we have matching flannels. I'm not sure. I think we bought them together to be honest. So, I think every girl needs that. Um... It's a really comfortable, this is really thick fabric, it's really warm, it's really great for like football games. I got it in a large, a men's large 42-44, so it's still kind of big on me, but it's comfortable. And it's from a company named George. Yeah, so that's really comfortable, every girl needs a flannel. Um, I highly recommend if you're going to buy a flannel, buy them out of the men's section, and that sounds really weird, but men's flannels usually are better I don't want to say better quality, but they are sometimes. At least that's how they feel to me. They're better quality, they're warmer, and they're definitely, like, very simple. And I do like this one. It's got the buttons on the thing. And, yeah, so, a flannel. All right, next. Every girl needs a really fancy, fancy dress. This isn't super fancy. It's one of my favorites, though. Um, I'm going to actually use this one in a lookbook that I'm working on. So, styling this one. I'm excited. I can't wait for you guys to see that one. Um... It's really low cut, so you will, it comes to like here, I think, like the ending. But it's really comfortable. The sleeves are short. I mean, it's sleeveless, basically. Um, it, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but it has like the hip alterations. It's actually kind of long for me because my hips are very weird right now. And I have to, I don't know, they seem to have indented themselves and they weren't always indented, but we're going to work on that while we're still exercising so now it also really makes you look really nice it's this goes great 
if you have like a pair of spandex or something to put under if you want to shape yourself out it goes great with shapewear um i think this one this is from the company almost famous I'm not even sure what that is uh, i want to say this is a large but i don't see a tag i think this is a large ah here we are nope mm, doesn't say i think this is a large again this was back in my days when i thought i was cool so it's cute it's a light pink color um i think a lot of girls need light pink this is really great for light pink so yes this is my fancy fancy dress i don't ever wear next i think every girl needs a cute little bodycon dress this is actually my favorite bodycon dress oh there's a stain i also have a stain on it haven't even worn it what the world anyways this is my favorite bodycon dress I think got this from TJ Maxx. I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's really comfortable. It's when I put it on, it's very form fitting. It doesn't look like it's super form fitting, but like it's super form fitting when I put it on. It's super cute, super comfortable, very soft. It's from the company Bobby and Brooks. So this is actually an extra large. I got an, when I buy bodycon dresses, I buy them in extra larges because you know, I want to still have room to get into them also have like enough room to like move around and fix it and adjust it the way you want so i tend to buy my bodycon dresses slightly larger than what they are i have two bodycon well this is my yeah this bodycon dress and there's a neely to bodycon dress in there that i might show you guys later and another lookbook so that one i'm actually using too i have a dress look coming up don't worry next every girl needs a floral print dress this one's my graduation dress i got it from peebles it's by the company Nina Lena Lena Nina Leonard. It's a large. It's a I don't know what kind of material this is. Is there a tag? I'm I'm like trying to tell you guys what kind of materials though all everything is. So you guys can get it. This is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. It also has a lot of stretch to it. Really comfortable, really pretty. Um it flows right. It also it I don't want to say it accents you in the right places, but yeah. It also has like this little flap open piece. It's in cold shoulder, it's an off the shoulder, cold shoulder dress. I guess it's cold shoulder. Um, so on both sides. It's really cute and really comfortable. Great for graduations. It's great for just simple going out with friends. It's great for if you just want to throw something on simple for the day. It's great. So yeah. Um, That's next. I forgot a pair of shoes that I have to show you guys. So maybe I'll remember. I don't know where that's facing that one. Next. This is my business dress. It's not a, I mean, it fits like a bodycon dress, but I don't consider this a bodycon dress. This is also, also got this from TJ Maxx. It's the, it's from Bobby Brooks. Um, yeah. So it's not a bodycon dress. This is like my really fancy, nice dress. It fits nicely. It has these nice cross laces in the front. The sleeves are really nice. It's not too big. It's not too small. It actually fits really well. It looks pretty good with pretty much any kind of shoe you put on with it. I like to wear a certain pair of shoes with it. So, yeah. And the last two clothing items, like clothes-wise, are every girl needs a nice jacket. Olive green is one of my favorite colors. So, I have this nice olive green jacket. And I'm not sure where. I actually think, think I took this from my grandmother. It's a water-resistant jacket by Ava and Viv. It's an X. I'm guessing that means extra large, maybe a 10. So it's really comfortable. It stretches perfectly. It fits nicely. It's a zipper and a button. It also has these adjustable straps on the inside if you want to cinch the waist a little more. I have the waist. I don't think the waist is cinched at all on this one. Actually, no, it's cinched on one side. So, yeah. Um, there's a pocket right there. Why have I never noticed that? There's a whole pocket right here. I never noticed. There's a whole pocket. Is there one on the other side too? Dude, there's a whole pocket on this thing. Why not? I have this jacket for like a year and I've never noticed. Wow. Got whole pockets. And then, oh my goodness. Well, now I know. That's when I put my phone in. Okay, right, so this is a really nice jacket. I like the sleeves. The very cinched. I like the cinch cuff on my sleeve. I like that. And it makes me feel very secure like my jacket went overcrowd me and the last staple in my closet is a nice oversized sweatshirt um i have quite a few oversized sweatshirts i'm actually getting ready to diy one and crop it and make it more my style but an oversized sweatshirt this one's actually my boyfriend's but you know who cares 
it's really comfortable it's really cute very oversized it comes to like my top of my top of my thigh close to my mid thigh um it's very large it smells like it smells like him which is my favorite smell he's my favorite smell it also has duke on it so if you guys are not duke fans i'm sorry he's a duke fan and this is really comfortable and yeah i stole it from him he actually wore it to my house one day and well, he said he would come back and get it. He never did. So, anyway, so this is that. I think I think he wears an extra large. Yeah, he wears an extra large. And the company this is from, it's from Kadri Athletic Apparel. Never heard of. It's 80% cotton and 20% polyester. And there's really nothing special about it. It's an extra large. So, it's an extra large men's, obviously. Because, you know, the sleeves are really big. They're really comfortable. Um, I don't think the sleeves come all the way down my past my fingertips. I can't remember honestly. You know, I just wore like 30 minutes ago. So, hold that thought. I have one more thing I have to grab. So, I don't forget. So, I take that back. So, there's a couple, four pairs of shoes that I like to have in my closet. These are my go-to shoes for depending for different events. Um, so, let's start with these these i don't know knows what crocs are okay if you ain't crocking if you're not if you're not crocking you're not rocking you ain't crocking you know you ain't rocking art so something like that um obviously my f my strap can't put my shoes on sports moves it's kind of depressing but crocs are very good they're very very comfortable um don't put these in a the dryer please don't shrink they're really comfortable. These are a kid size 5, I think. Maybe a kid size 3. I don't know. But they're really comfortable. They're very simple to wear. Obviously, I've had them so long, the grips on the bottom is coming off. But that's okay, too. No one cares. So, Crocs. I think everybody needs a pair of Crocs. They're just very quick slip-on shoes. And I don't like flip-flops very often. So, yeah. Next, I think everybody needs a good pair of cute running shoes. Um, even if you don't run. Um, obviously, I do a lot of activities with my friends. So... These are my go-to shoes for that. And you can see me. Look at that. They're dirty. So these are great. I wore these hiking yesterday because I didn't have any hiking boots. And I wore mine are. So really cute. These are Adidas. I think I took these from my cousin. I'm not going to lie. Some of these clothes I end up like I borrow. And then I'll forget I borrow them and I'll wear them. And eventually they just come on. Um, now I'm just going to talk about boots. So I think every girl needs a pair of boots. These are faux fur. You know, I posted a picture on my, one of my Instagrams that said, um, what did it say? It said, I said my boot, my jeans aren't apple, wait, my jeans aren't apple bottom, so my boots sure do have fur or something like that, and people thought it was funny, so, yeah. These are really comfortable. These are, I think these are the women's size six. I don't know, whatever they are, they're still slightly too big for me. I can wear kids shoes. I think there's a woman's size six. Hmm. He didn't tell me. I think these are women's size six. Maybe a woman. Yeah, we're gonna go with size six. Next. Uh, yeah, we'll do boots. We'll finish the boots category and then we'll do the last two pairs of shoes. Well, last pair of shoes because the other ones I didn't feel like grabbing. Um. So then you have a nice pair of boots. These come to my kneecaps. They're really cute, really comfortable. They're great for. Um, football games, especially if you're wearing like really thick old man socks, which thermal socks, they're really comfortable with those. They fit really well. I do like the toes. They're really long. Put my boots on them. So, protect them kneecap at the same time. Last but not least, my favorite pair of shoes. I think every girl needs a pair of like cute, comfortable, these aren't really heels. They're not really wedges. They remind me of Mary Jane's from like when we were little. So, really cute. They're Velcro as well. I'm just that lazy. So, they're really cute. They're from the company Ralto, and I think these are a size 6. I don't know. Honestly, I can't remember. I want to say these are a size 6. Maybe a size 5. Honestly, I don't even know what size shoes I wear anymore. I just know 7 is too big. The kids' shoes fit perfectly. These are actually I got from Peebles, so. I don't know what Peebles is. It's like a really cute store that they're closing in my town. So. 
so yeah those are my outfits i'm actually going to be putting together a lookbook with some of the outfits i put together to show you guys so i have to figure out how i'm gonna do that with with my current non-camera using self i'm using my phone camera as always so well, that's it hope you guys enjoyed i will try to find some of these items if i can and link them down below but some of them are sold i probably won't even be able to find them honestly i'm not even sure where half of this stuff came from look this is my boyfriend's this is just a jacket honestly i think this came from people's too this came from tj maxx i do a lot of shopping at tj maxx a lot of this, this came from Peebles, TJ Maxx. This is really cute. I do like the detailing on the side. Look at that. It's really cute detailing. It's really stretchy too. This dress has a lot of stretch. Like when I say a lot of stretch, I mean like a lot of stretch. I barely pulled that and like that's how much stretch it has. So, um, Burlington Coat Factory. I don't shop there very often. Walmart, TJ Maxx, Goodwill, Concert, Route 21. So I'm going to link down, um, if I can find these places, find these shoes again, I will link them down below. I bought these at a store, so probably won't be able to find them online, but I'll try. Um, we'll find something similar to it. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video, which is going to be accessories, which I love accessories and just finding cute little um, thingy mabobbers to wear. Night, lovely day whenever you're seeing this, and I hope you guys have a great time. Love you guys. Bye. See ya. Ruby Dirty. Ciao. Strawberry soda.